Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. For today's video, what we gotta do is we gotta build this porch behind us. Now this was an add-on, so it wasn't part of the original plan, um, which is not a big deal. I think it was a great addition because where you are looking at me is how you are going to be coming into this property, up this drive that's you know, right in front of me. So this is gonna be the first thing you see. You're gonna see this awesome wall of windows and that chimney over there. But this wall had a very blank look to it. It had a couple windows in this door. And so this nice little porch is gonna add, a, I think, enough detail that at least won't make it look so blah. So I'm very happy that it was added. And first thing we gotta do, we've also got a tree guy in the background. He's doing a bunch of clearing of the trees out here. So that second story deck that we're building is gonna have an awesome view out to a small pond lake area. So that's a, I think that's a good idea as well. But enough about that. Let's go ahead and get into this porch build. The first thing we gotta do is find the exact locations of our brackets. Uh, we gotta make sure they're nice and square. And then we'll get those mounted, check grade, and start building this porch with those cedar six by sixes. <laughs> Beautiful, man. All right, so now we need six footers, two six footers, and an eight footer, and an eight footer. So if you find a good one, you get your two six footers out of it. Yes. Is this gonna have an open face, right? Yes. Also, did you notice back here on the wall, there's marks where our wall girts are and where our column joint locations are. And that is because that's not where any insulation is directly behind the steel. This is a good example as to why post frame is so good for insulation factor because look at how many fewer thermal breaks are in this wall than if you were to have a stud every 16 inches connected to your sheathing. Those would all be locations where the insulation value was not as good. With a post frame, we have every eight foot a post and that entire um, area filled in with insulation. So we've only got those thermal breaks at those um, post locations. And this is a good way to kind of show that. When I, hand the, when I hand the top piece up, I'm going to do it with one arm. There you go, dude. Totally. Good? Yeah.
sesame curd scene. Yeah. Oh, right there. Ha <laughs> ha! You made a funny. I'm a funny guy. Oh, he did it again. Oh, I'm here all week, Monday through Friday, <laughs> seven thirty to five. There's so many tools out, dude. Oh, boy. Hey, Zach, start cleaning up tools. Where'd that kid go? Where's Zach at? Who? Zach, dude. You remember Zach, the guy that works for us. Well, it's a great start to uh, the week here, building this little porch. Um, definitely, I think this was a great add onto the job. It wasn't originally going to be built there, but I think after, you know, the client seeing the way the front of this building looks coming up the drive, it was kind of like, man, we need to add something. And with this door, now we have a nice place to get out of the rain as you enter the door, because this is probably going to be the most used, you know, access point. Um, we got all of the framing done. We got it, uh, wrapped with some synthetic felt paper on the roof and we've got our extended residential eave trim on which is going to accept the hem on our standing seam so tomorrow when we get back here we'll start working on that standing seam roof we'll just get one piece on that way we can get the steel up and over that roof and not have to walk on it and then once all the side steel is on we'll get all the rest of that roofing material on and we can start working on all the other finished details the nice thing about this um, it's open so on the inside we just have to install some regular black metal like we did on our other porches and then this front is going to be buttoned up i'm told that the door that we've been waiting on that single walk door is in and the rest of our steel that we've been waiting on is also in hoping it gets delivered tomorrow or the next day so we can wrap up the exterior on this project and start on the inside so i don't know if we're going to go ahead and roll into another video or not 
Make sure you stick around for uh, the rest of this build. I think it's going to be great, and I appreciate your guys' support. I'm going to get out of here, help Greg clean up all the tools that we clearly got out. We got a lot of tools oh, out today. Cool, for You know, the, the, here, here's the thing. When you do little things like this porch, it doesn't matter. It's six by eight. It's super tiny, but it, it has all of the same details as a 16 by six porch or an 18 by six porch. So a lot of times, you know, when things start getting smaller, it doesn't mean that they take a whole lot less time. It just means uh, probably less material because the labor usually ends up being about the same because all that detail work still has to be done, whether it's on a small project or a big project. Um, it's all the same pieces. So sometimes these little ones, they're the toughest. That's done, dude. Ready for steel. This cut right here is gonna be a pretty tricky one because we've gotta go up over the roof and we've gotta go into this angled soffit and around the porch header and then up into the angled pitch of the roof and cut out the door. So it always pays to uh, definitely make a lot of checks with your tape measure. And then also what I like to do is write down the measurements instead of trying to remember them because as I get older I realize that that's how I probably am going to make the most mistakes. I'm just not There we go, dude. Just simple. Got all the measurements. What? That's every measurement, dude. I think we'll have to go top right side in first and I'll just pull this out because we don't have any ribs to go over or nothing. You know what I'm saying? We top right so over here and then roll it in. I think. Let's just try it. Let's try yep. the normal way first. Yep. Okay, you got it. Not really. I don't I don't I don't know how to transfer my hand without Okay, good, thanks. Alright. All you? Okay, let me Okay. Let me just set that there. Well, it's gonna be tough. I'm gonna have to go in flat. You're gonna have to get in first almost. Yeah. Let me yeah, roll, we'll have to, we'll have to roll this out. Roll as far this as, out. Which thing thankfully we brought the entire Ugh. foot there that we put out. Okay. 
and this all gets covered, so I ain't too worried about it. But I don't know how I'm gonna get. Right. I need like three quarters of an inch half inch more. There's that. Okay, now we can go up until there. So what I need now, Greg, is I need to push that in right there. Oh. Mm. Let's see if I can let go of that. Can you, can you get on the outside of that? I don't want to scratch it up. What are we, what are we doing? What are we bending? We bending anything? No. So what about your good rib? What about your good rib down there on the trim? Okay. Okay. Right. Can I wait? Okay. All right. I'm not in at all of there. Okay. What the? If... Okay. I got, I got one. Oh, one second. Oh. Okay. You're getting on the bottom there. This, this rib. You gotta get tucked behind that, that drip. I don't know if you can like, maybe get the trim and just tuck it real quick. Okay. But problem is, dude, I need to get in my F and J at the same time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So maybe could you? I got it for now. It'll, it'll stay. I mean, it should stay. Bring but lift up, lift up your your uh, telehandler so you can like climb up off the ladder onto it, and then maybe or climb up the ladder and get onto it or something, and then get your top, and then maybe also get a the trim to put behind that so it slides up behind that. I'm gonna my drill here. I don't need it. All right, man. Wish me luck. I'm gonna make the long track. This is one of those would be super ideal. Just watch how that does roll me for a lot of weight on it. Problem is this piece right here. Okay. 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 Right, you know what I need? Um, I need some way, Greg, of keeping this from coming out. If I can get it up, just. Uh, okay. Don't move it. Don't move it. Don't move it. Don't move it. Right here. Yeah. That's yeah, a minor. The minor needs to push back. No, just a minor. Just a minor. Okay. Yeah. What now? Uh, I need to what? Oh man. I gotta go for this again. Uh. Okay. Uh. Are we catching? Oh, I'm not sure. Not up here. Got this minor again. Maybe. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm in Santa Ma. I'm sorry, dude. Hold on. I'm up there. I'm in. Uh. Okay, no, it's not that unless it's... Okay, okay. wait a minute. No. What happened? All right. I think we can start... Hold on, I think. Uh-huh. Okay, okay, got it. Upward pressure? Upward pressure. Are you good or you need to go up? I need to go up. Yeah, where's the catch? Uh, I don't know. Okay, I can't do anything else up here because there's nothing to do, so I'm going to come back down there so I can okay. help. This might be a little tricky. So we've opted out of putting that last sheet of steel above the roof because I think it'll make it a lot easier for us to get this tricky piece in. And uh, we got all this masking tape, as you can see, that helps protect the finish in case some things move around. Let me move this off the wall a little bit. Yeah. It's not ideal. I really wish we had our scissor lift here, but I guess I'm not going to complain, right? Yeah, I just did. Alright, we figured maybe it'd be better just to take that roof panel off. We can always slide it in later. Then we won't have to worry about it getting scratched.
Well, we had a good day. We got the steel up and over and all around that porch. So now we just got to get the roof steel on as well as the ceiling steel. Both of those I got to get yet. Um, and some soffit fascia. I like to try to get a big list at the very end for all the incidental, the extras, like this porch was an ad. I wanted to use up all the spare trims before I went ahead and ordered more. What I'm gonna do now is Greg is wrapping up screws on that uh, last couple panels. And it's almost the end of the day, but we're gonna spend a little bit of time working on this chimney, getting some stone around it, because we gotta get to the top. We've got chimney guys showing up end of the week to cap the top of the chimney. Um, so I gotta get all that covered in stone and I just wanna get it finished. So that's what we're gonna work on and we'll be right back here in the morning.